Welcome to another video from 254 Repair. In this one, we're going to replace the screen on an iPhone 6S. As you can see, we have an iPhone 6S rose gold, and we're going to start by removing two bottom pentalope screws. In this video, we are going to do a full screen replacement, not just the glass, not just the LCD and glass. Uh, we are going to use a screen that has all the components already installed. That is the best way to do it if this is the first time that you will open a phone or do a screen replacement. If you are a knowledgeable technician and you are capable of replacing the small components, we do have another video where we go over the uh, small component transfer on the iPhone 6S screen. So the first thing that we do is start using our opening tool to remove the old screen from the frame. Uh, one major difference from previous iPhone models to this one is that this one has adhesive on the edge, edges of the screen. Uh, the purpose of this uh, probably to keep the phone um, water resistant or in order to make sure that the screen doesn't come off which was an issue with the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, we are removing the adhesive at this moment and we're going to go ahead and lift the screen just like you will do on an iPhone 6 and separate it from the frame. Once you accomplish that, we're going to go ahead and move forward and remove the screws that are holding the um, electromagnetic shield over the LCD connectors. There is four screws and uh, we're going to go ahead and remove them now. Once you accomplish that, we can move on to the next phase of this repair, which will be just taking the new screen and plugging it in. As I said in the beginning, in this repair, we will not be going over small components transfer. We will cover that in a different video. As you can see, there's a few flex connectors that are hooking or connecting that LCD to the logic board. So we're going to go ahead and remove them. There's a few differences from the design of the iPhone 6 to the 6S. One of them is the antennas being in different locations. So you will be uh, removing antenna connectors in order to get access to the LCD connectors. Now that we have the LCD completely separated, we're going to go ahead and move forward and replace the screen. So we're going to go ahead and put the phone to the side and bring our new screen in. Make sure that everything is fine. Everything is the way it's supposed to be. Uh, everything has been put together. All the components, front facing camera, proximity sensor, and home button has have been transferred to the new LCD and now we're going to go ahead and connect it to the new to the to the phone as you do that be very careful use your fingers and make sure that you do not force any of those connectors into place in a way that you will damage the logic board Once the LCD connectors and digitizer connectors and all the other connectors in are plugged in, we're going to go ahead and test the screen. We know it works now that we see the digitizer working, the LCD working, and so we're going to go ahead and move forward and put the four screws on the, pl on the um, plate, the electromagnetic plate that protects those connectors. Once those four screws are back in place and make sure that you put them in the right spot exactly where they came from, uh, we're going to go ahead and close the phone. 
to achieve that, we are going to make sure that the upper side of the screen falls into the groups and then we apply, apply pressure all around the screen and that concludes the screen replacement. The only thing left is to put the pentalobe screws.